Hello and welcome to episode 17 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how to set up a notification for a note that you want to be reminded of at a later date. Now, Evernote is an incredibly feature-rich note-taking application. As you probably already know, if you follow, if you've been following this series, you would have seen that there are so many things that you can do in Evernote that, in theory, it could actually run all your projects, it could run all your tasks, it can run so many things. And I think even I'm guilty of using Evernote in such a basic way when it has so many features. But here is one feature that I do occasionally use from time to time. And this is what we call the notifications or the notifications um, um, feature, if you like, in Evernote. And basically what it does is it will send you a reminder either in app or you could arrange for it to come to you by email uh, to do something. So here I have uh, what I call my notifications test um, application. Uh, sorry, notification test note. And I've created a number of checklists here. So as you can see from here, I've got these as checklists. So I can just check, check them off as and when I do them which would be really cool if you wanted to use this as a checklist. And to, by the way, to set up a checklist, if I haven't already covered that, is all you do is you can create your, um, well, let me just go down here and I'll show you. Um, make bed, um, wash the dishes, um, wipe kitchen, uh, kitchen surface. It says. Okay, so I have three things in this list. All I can do is I can highlight it here and I can just click on the the tick button here and it creates a checklist. Alternatively, I can actually just click it now straight away and then I can do um, a clean bathroom, etc. So you see, you get the idea. Anyway, let's say that I have decided that uh, because over here in Seoul it is so hot and humid outside 35 degrees celsius with about an 88 percent humidity rate it is horrible outside so most of the weekend we most families would like to stay inside or go to the movie theater somewhere where it is cool but let's just say that i'm a, a very diligent person and i want to give my house a really really big clean then i could set this up as a reminder or i could give this a reminder and all i have to do is go to the little alarm clock up here click on that and it will say to me uh, add a date so set reminders on notes to keep track of what you're working on add a date to receive in app and email notifications so i'm going to add a date so uh, let's say well let's um add it for today and <clears throat> If I add this, well, I, I, timing this is going to be wrong, but I've got a lot of options here. I can add it for tomorrow um, or I can add it for, so I can clear the reminder. I can add it for um, tomorrow in a week or I can actually specifically set a date when I want to do this. Um, once you've set a date on this, uh, what you'll find is you've got a, the, the alarm clock has now become blue and up here you can turn, uh, you have like a, a num reminders and then the number, which in this case I've got one reminder up here. So I can actually uh, tick it off by clicking it here. And that ticks off the reminder and it will disappear in about 24 hours time. So there's how you can actually use Evernote as a, a to-do list, if you like. Um, or you could just use it to, to remind you to get on with a checklist. Another really good use of Evernote, and it's something that if I traveled more often, I travel about once or twice a year, so I don't feel necessarily I need this function. But for those of you who do a lot of business trips or are traveling a lot, you could create a list of the things that you need to take with you and set up a notification for this note to come up uh, maybe one day before you travel so you've got your travel checklist so you know what things to put in your suitcase and what things to get sh make sure are ready so there's a lot of uses that you can uh, use this notifications functionality in Evernote anyway I hope 
this has been very useful for you. Please, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for all of the, you guys out there who are interested in any kind of productivity, that's email, to-do lists, getting things done, Evernote, almost any kind of application you can think of, please subscribe to Jay Miller's Productivity in Tech Facebook group. It's an amazing group. There's some wonderful people there and the group is growing and everybody on there is here and there to help you to get more productive and to get much more important things to do done to get more important things done okay that's it for today i hope you all have an incredibly productive week and i'll see you in the next episode